Now, thinking off the top of my head, I can't recall really any horror movies that I've seen in the past year and a half, other than VHS, which I actually, to my surprise, really enjoyed. It was interesting to see a horror anthology movie in theaters at all, because I hadn't personally ever seen that. I've seen horror anthologies, but never in the theaters, and never done in a POV style found footage way. And yes, I know found footage, you know, whatever, but in this movie, in that movie, I thought it worked. And uh, because of my enjoyment of that movie, I did think it was, it had some problems. Some of the shorts weren't exactly great, um, but for the most part, it actually got under my skin a little. It was kind of disturbing. And it was in the it was, it was a little mean spirited, but in the end, it was fun. It was fun. Now, of course, why don't I see many horror movies each year? You know why? Cause they suck. Most of the time, it's just watered down, uh, fake jump scares. Nothing that really. Oh, Cabin in the Woods. Okay, now I remember. Cabin in the Woods is actually a good one, but and Evil Dead. They're coming to me now. Uh, but. For the most part, you know, you've seen the movies that come out in January and even October. It's just either sequels or shit nobody gives a shit about. But that's what's so cool and fun about VHS 2 is it honestly feels like these guys just went out and made their own movie with their own rules. There's a lot of great practical effects. There's some CG in there. But, you know, you can tell this is very low budget. There's a lot of uh, blood <laughs> in there. Um, a lot of uh, material that's actually kind of disturbing and creepy in a way. It's just, it's just creepy. But what, make, what separates this from the first one and why you might actually enjoy it more than the first one is it just has, like, there's just more fun to be had. The segments are uh, more colorful, more interesting. There's, there's more interesting concepts behind these. Um, there's actually a sense of humor in some of them, especially the first short, and let's let's get into that a little bit. Um, of course, the this movie revolves around a, two investigators like breaking into a house and finding some VHS tapes, and you know they have a bunch of weird shit on them. Uh, and of course, the one girl is like reacts. No, she doesn't react. She just <laughs> she pops one in, you know, like one at a time, and uh, just oh okay, that was weird. Next one, you know. If I saw any of that stuff, I'd probably run. I would take off. Get me the hell out of there. But that's the wraparound story, and it you know it cuts in. It shows that um, in between each of the different four shorts, there's actually one short less than the first one, I believe. And yeah, there's some creepy shit going on in the background, and there's this story of the, the this like story. There's like this uh, student, the missing student that they're looking for, and there's like a you know like it comes full circle. It, it should have been done better, but whatever it, it was okay but of course that's nothing let's talk about the main force um, vignettes and uh, these are just they're, they're just really cool it's like four little horror short films and they're all directed by different people uh, the first one this guy gets like a new eye like an implant in his um, his eye and it has a camera of course so that's how you can see what's going on and that was that was creative and interesting I thought uh, and he's of course start seeing things with this new eye, that's all I'll say. It's creepy, and it has a sense of humor about it in the beginning, but I think it's easy to say that that's the weakest of the four shorts, but it's the first one, you get it out of the way, it's no big deal, and it's still well done, I thought. It was interesting with uh, the effects and stuff. The second short is, um, see, from here, from there on out, like, it's really hard to pick your favorite one, but I think this could be a contender, like, between this and the last one. It's called, I think, A Ride in the Park, if I remember, and it's about a guy riding around in the forest on a bike and um, I'll just say zombies come into play and it is very interesting um, what they decided to do involving the POV you know if you kinda get what I'm saying it just kinda moves along and um, you know it, it's cool to admire but they just as that short keeps going on it just keeps getting better and better honestly if like I just saw that as a short film at some festival uh, except for some you know kind of crappy dialogue here and there uh, at the beginning it's a really well done short the third one this is the one everybody's talking about safe haven a group investigates this cult in some compound and shit goes down uh, there's a lot of uh, like tension that just kind of slowly builds uh, I was a little bored in the beginning of this one but 
uh, as it keeps going, it just keeps escalating the what the fuck factor. Super gory, uh, super just interesting and like just shocking, uh, and great practical effects. Overall, well done. And probably the longest of the four shorts, if I remember. The last one is Slumber Party Alien Invasion or Alien Invasion Slumber Party. I cannot remember. Um, this one, uh, it was a little hard to tell what was going on, and none of the characters are really likable in, it, in the short, but overall, the only thing that matters is once you find out what is going on, of course, and it is just awesome visuals to behold. The lighting and the fog and the they put like a camera on the dog which is kind of interesting um but the aliens the freaking aliens it's actually practical costumes and i could tell and it looked awesome i actually felt scared again for once these things are really cool overall just to see like an alien invasion done in this sort of found footage style was really awesome aliens have been cg for like the past decade at least maybe more and it's nice to see a low budget, you know, like, you know, these, the costumes are really well done and they're, you know, they're hidden pretty well and it's, it's just fucking creepy. And it's also just, it's just a fun short. It, again, that one and uh, Ride in the Park could be tied for my favorite of the film. Now, if I had any problems with the movie, I think I already discussed some, but if I wanted to add any, again, the writing is not the best and there's actually some times where, like, you wish you just would have gotten more, like, it's just... I kind of admire the mystery of some of these tapes, like, you know, they're just kind of like, it makes you really curious, which is a good thing, but I wish there was some more exposition, maybe. Uh, maybe make it actually a little longer, although this one, this one was shorter than the first movie, which was nice, but I would have preferred maybe just a little longer so we could get a little bit more exposition that's actually well done. Uh, but this is a horror movie, and as far as horror movies go, this is one of the better ones I think we've seen in recent years, and I would like to see this turn into a franchise. It's not the greatest horror movie out there, but as far as what we're getting now, I consider this great. This is really fun. Uh, just turn off your brain, have fun, because, you know, that's another thing that's interesting is she's sitting there popping all this in all these tapes. They're VHS tapes, and these shorts are obviously filmed on, like, HD cameras or something, so who decided to put these on the tapes and who edited, that, edited them in this particular fashion. Maybe that's something they could kind of explore or reveal in the third movie. That would be interesting to see. Uh, but, you know, maybe make the shorts a little longer or maybe shorten it to three shorts and make the wraparound segment improved. And there you go. You can check out VHS 2 on On Demand right now. Uh, hope you really check it out and support these movies. And yeah, we should. It was a surprise to get this sequel at all and this soon, but I'm glad they did it because it definitely improved over the first movie.